Welcome to Conference Whispers, Commercial UAV Expo Video Edition. I'm Dr. Doreen Galley, Chief of Research at TBW Advisors, LLC. Technical Business Whispers. The answer is always in the whispers. Join the conversation and subscribe today. Conference Vibe. After 79 videos, 175 minutes of video recording, including three live streams and over 45 fact checks, our coverage of Commercial UAV Expo 2025 closes. The Commercial UAV Expo brought together over 3,393 drone enthusiasts from over 62 countries. Registration had no lines whatsoever. We were able to capture lunch served on Wednesday as well as breakfast on Thursday. This time, we once again tried out the live streams with one on Tuesday requesting those attending to find me to answer questions one through three. Wednesday to let you know about the upcoming events we have scheduled as well as Thursday from Expo Hall itself requesting assistance. Specifically, I requested your assistance on letting me know which are your favorite videos for my segment on Computer Talk Radio broadcast on September 6th. While at the Commercial UAV Expo 2025, we conducted research for three additional forthcoming whisper reports for our clients. The playlists are unlisted, but available and will eventually fill in with the video version of the report, so you may wish to bookmark these. Question 1. Wisp Report. What's the biggest UAV threat chief information officers aren't ready for? Question 2. Wisp Report. How will drones change enterprise data strategy? And question 3. Wisp Report. What's the most underrated UAV use case in the industry? Readers and viewers wishing to experience the entire event are encouraged to view Conference Whispers Commercial UAV Expo 2025 playlist in its entirety. Once the video edition is available, the playlist will be cited as a pinned comment in the end screen, as well as, of course, it's always in the description. It is easy to locate any previous Conference Whispers playlist through the TBW Advisors corporate website. Keynotes and Sessions At the Commercial UAV Expo, we were excited we could cover keynotes this year. The opening monologue set the stage. Buzz Solutions' Caitlin Albertoli kicked off the event with five tips for overcoming inaction and your drone problem. This was followed by a great case study fireside chat with her client Dominion Energy. Dominion's Thomas F. Butler emphasized that collaboration is the key to success. This was followed by a fascinating case study of how drones were used to capture the stunning beauty of the Grand Canyon. Commercial UAV Expo's team content manager, Matt Collins, welcomed all back on Thursday morning. The keynote panel was hosted by CyberHawk CEO, Chris Fleming. Collaboration was the key emphasis and produced one of our favorite quotes from the event. Safety is not proprietary. This session also provided many insights for succeeding with FAA paperwork, be it waivers or permits. The morning keynote was concluded with the awarding of the 2025 Eric Talley Memorial Award to Officer Matt Rowland. Drones. When one attends a commercial UAV expo, it's not unusual to see a lot of drones, including a variety of specialty drones. iPad drone propellers and motors came as a set, easily snap on and off, and are notoriously quiet. These propellers also enable very quick maintenance. If you are seeking a variety of drones, including nano drones, Ascent Aviation shared their wares. Need to cover remote areas? Starling's drone in a box can automatically manage between three batteries possible in the box with the drone. Perhaps you need to deal with the chemicals of agriculture. Central UAS drones are specifically designed to handle agricultural and pest sprays space. 
if chain of custody regarding cargo for applications such as medical deliveries, Blue Flight Drones has you covered. Heavy cargo? Flying Basket can handle a 100 kilo cargo with a 200 kilo capable drone coming by year's end. Parallel Flight Technologies are hybrid drones and can handle 100 pounds for 1.4 hours or 50 pounds for almost 3 hours. Finally, if you want a tethered drone or want to convert your drone to a tethered drone, Elistar came to Vegas all the way from France to share their solution. If you're seeking a distributor for drones, there are a number of options on site. One example was Frontier that represents product lines from over 40 different manufacturers. Another example was Multicopter. They consider themselves a drone provider with their advantage being not offering services. This eliminates competing with the manufacturers themselves. They enjoy speaking both with drone manufacturers on site as well as the customers seeking a great source to purchase their enterprise drones. Finally, one of the great challenges for all drone manufacturers is testing their drones. Filing all that paperwork and enduring the FAA delays can interfere with business. Ukraine, represented by their San Francisco consulate, Consul General Dmitry Kushnerik, wanted drone manufacturers to know that you are welcome in Ukraine. Unlike the U.S., it's only a matter of a few weeks to get approval for testing. They also have scenarios not generally available. This has resulted in over 2,000 drone producers coming out of Ukraine. Communications A universal need for drones is the ability to communicate either back to their controller or back to the enterprise. Teal IO specializes in mission critical infrastructure. With one SIM card, you can connect to hundreds a network by a single pane of glass, including the ability to switch networks. GeodeNet represents the largest RTK network. Real time kinematics makes GPS significantly more accurate, which is required with drones. If you are concerned about GPS getting jammed, Toolcom operates an anti-jam electronic warfare, data links, flight termination, terrestrial navigation, and 4G, 5G, as well as telemetry devices. Of course, alternatively, one could leverage Anello Photonics' world's smallest optical gyroscope to ensure your navigation in the event of GPS is blocked, spoofed, or jammed. This year, they brought their new maritime solution to Expo Hall. Components As many drone manufacturers are gathering, those creating components and parts for drones that manufacturers need are also exhibiting. On the power side, if you're familiar with the benefits and challenges of hydrogen, H2MOF does not store it as a gas or as a liquid. Enjoy their video to learn more. Do you want to further reduce the weight of your aircraft? Are you hoping to save a little money over carbon fiber? Mag Materials, a magnesium specialist, may be the vendor you have been looking for. If you need LiDAR sensors, but could use help on the entire end-to-end -end picture, Green Valley International is looking forward to speaking with you. Finally, if your drones deal with harsh, hot environments, Pelican Wire has heat resistant custom wire to fit your needs. In fact, they have three different types of specialized wire on display. In addition to the heat resistant, they shared their thermal couple RTD wires, which measure temperature, resistance, wires that generate heat, and various other custom engineered wire solutions for specific customer applications. Compliance. With the October 6, 2025 FAA deadline to comment on Part 108 for the FAA's notice to propose rulemaking fast approaching, it was the talk of the town. We were able to capture an exclusive summary of the panel discussing everyone's primary concern. This conversation highlighted many of the area's concern and critical tips to ensure your comments are counted and matter. 
Once 108 passes, many drone manufacturers may be seeking components that can enable compatibility with the rules. To that end, UAviani has been developing technology aligned with the proposed rules and is ready to serve. Part 108 is all about making the sky safe and enabling objects to navigate amongst each other. For pilots that have concerns, DSPA, Drone Service Providers Alliance, is a group advocating exclusively on behalf of pilots on the local and national level. Drone Operations At the enterprise level, drone operations require a lot of strategic thought, planning, and technology. We first heard of the enterprise AI-powered visual intelligence of Buzz Solutions during the keynote. The emphasis is always getting all of the information out of the data you can for all use cases available for a given data set. Collect once, use many times was a common theme at the event this year. Air Data provides a fleet management solution to manage all your UAS fleets, pilots, certification, checklists, and the likes. If your industry requires the handling of special care cargo, APCO Defense was a highly innovative drone recovery system with technology to provide a soft landing. If your challenge is understanding where that fleet of drones and aircraft are flying, Aloft can enable you to visualize your airspace. Frequently, drones are requested in location a great distance from population, making them difficult jobs to accept. Some drone operators got together with Custom Trailer to create a remote operating hub for drone operators. The result is Drone Pro Trailer and the Drone Ops Company. Pilots are required part of every organization. If you want to enable them virtually to practice, Zephyr has you covered over a large variety of aircraft. Looking to prepare your pilots for certification? USI shared their enterprise solution. Expanding the team, Neurodiversity Works organization may have just the talent you are seeking. Next year's conference. Commercial UAV Expo 2026 will once again return to Las Vegas and will be held at the Caesars Forum on September 1st through the 3rd of 2026. Read the full report online today. This has been Conference Whispers Commercial UAV Expo Video Edition. The answer is always in the whispers. Join the conversation and subscribe today. Have an amazing day.